Okay, hi everybody, welcome back. Um, I've been um, looking at the website as we're continuing along here, making real good progress, and some things are bothering me about this, this, this first, uh, this my home landing page. And you'll discover as you go through and you're building your site, you're constantly making changes, tweaking things until you get it right. And so since this is a training opportunity, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, bring you guys in on this as well. What I, what I don't like here is this listing here when I'm talking about the, the course and I'm listing out with these bullet points, some of the stuff that's gonna be in the videos. Actually, I'm well over this 35. I have to go in here and change this. Uh, so what I wanna do is put a table in here to, to kinda use this space here and fill it in, uh, make it, you know, just, kind of tweak it a little bit and let's go ahead and do that right now try to keep this short so let's go to the page and what we're going to do is we're going to put a table in now if you remember let me go back here quickly over to settings and go into our tiny MCE advanced this is the plugin if you haven't installed it you should go ahead and install that um, what it does it gives us extra uh, toolbar items that we can use you know we have our standard stuff here and then here we have put in some of the stuff from our uh, tiny MCE so as you remember we went ahead and added this little uh, widget here uh, not widget but uh, this little bar here uh, along with these so that we can get this extra you know functionality out of it and Actually, I should have checked that before. Uh, make sure you have that checked. That helps with some other things we could talk about later. So anyhow, um, that's what we're using, our tiny MCE with these extra buttons. So let's go back to our pages, and let's go down here and put a table in so that we can um, get that taken care of. And we're going to be under our WordPress tutorial videos. So here we are let's go down here and open this up just a little bit by pulling that down and we're gonna put a table in here what I'm gonna do is just go down here and just create a space for it and basically all we're gonna do now when we look at this you know we have you you know let's see one two three four let's you know just assume there's probably like 20 of them for the sake of this let's do two three four five six we'll do like six just to show you how this works so we go over here and here's our uh, table and what we're gonna do is just click that and we're gonna get a screen up here and we have columns row rows padding spacing all the different things that you can do here to make it and we want to do a two column uh, by let's say three row that's what it is okay you can put padding you can put spacing you can do border uh, colors and alignment and everything actually we're gonna have it center aligned we're gonna use uh, let's use 75 percent of uh, the width right now to start and we'll you can see how we can change these um, don't worry about the height or the class and we're gonna just basically go ahead and insert that in so now we have a one column two row uh, little table there you can't really see the other one we click on it you can see we have our different cells you can't really see it until you unless you click on it so basically what we're going to do we're just going to take some of these that we already have in here and I'm just going to drag it up and drop it in there we're going to do six of them make sure you're over into the second cell you have to watch and look for that cursor when you're doing this. Whoop. Okay. And let me bring this up a little bit. We're going to be getting rid of these rid of these bullets anyhow. And so I'm going to take another one here and let's just drop it in where we want it. Of course, you know, you create this as you go. I'm just using what's already here. I'm going to actually go in here and change some of the names on some of these and redo it but I just want to make this look a little bit better here so for now we're just going to do six so you can see how we do it now once we have that 
let's go up here and you can you can see that um, it's a little tight in here and we set it at 75 we could actually stretch that out a little bit and you can only go so far if you go over you'll see that it won't show let's go in here and just put our numbers in because uh, just to make it nice and nice and tight and then of course over here we're gonna have you know four five six now let's take a look at it and preview it and see what it looks like because we're gonna obviously make some changes here but this is gonna give you the general the gist of it so as you can see right in here we have a table and it's gonna allow me to put you know many more of these fill in this space just kind of tighten it up a little bit but I don't like this I don't like the border it shouldn't even have a border I don't know why it even ha it shouldn't have a border there because um, it was at zero if you click out within here and you want to do some edits within actually let me do this real quick let me go over to HTML and back it's acting kind of funky there so when you click in here you know you're highlighting in this cell and if you go and just click on it again you can go in and edit stuff and this border is zero so it should be no border but it is showing a border um, and as you can see now it's changed and, and it's given us our height since we stretched that out um, go back and look at that and see what we got there so it's still showing the board now what we could do here there are other options here let's do this let's go up here and as you can see we have uh, table row properties and then we have table cell properties so let's click on the table cell properties and it brings up another set of options and we're gonna go over here and you can play around with these over here to advanced and let's look at this I think it's this border color Let's click on there and it gives you a color palette. I'm going to go here and we're going to just put that at white. Um, and then we're going to go down here. It says current cell. We're going to update all cells in the table. And let's hit update and do another preview. And let's see what we can get here because I don't know why that okay so for whatever reason and it depends on the theme you're using too I think that can make a difference but as you can see we took that out and um, of course we can tighten this up and bring these up a little closer as well but that's kinda how you do if you just want, if you don't want to see that uh, little border there uh, another thing you can do you can go in here and um, you can click on the um, I believe it's this one and you go into advance and we could give a background color let's say we want to give it you know something like that maybe and um, hit update on that and then you can see it's going to change that so there's a lot of different things you can do with this it really does help to bring out once again something you want to bring people's attention to um, as you design as you design your site I might even make this a three column another thing you can do is you go down here to the bottom you can and it tells you right here you can add a, a column before or you can add a column after so if we click there let's add a column after you can't really see it but you have to click then as you can see that could be number seven and then we could go down here and do number eight you know and so on and that could even that's another way to even uh, do more with it you can do the columns and rows uh, like that as well so that is how you work with tables uh, with the WordPress and you, know, you can get pretty creative with it and I'm gonna go through here and, and, and finish this up and then we'll continue along um, my plan is to continue along with doing some things here on our sidebar as far as filling in some uh, some some other things and then getting into the footer I have um, I guess I'm just kind of procrastinating because I have to get down to uh, the actual videos that we uh, have to put in there and and then get into our YouTube stuff but I'm just not ready to write right now so I'm kinda slacking a little bit um, so this is a distraction for me as well we'll see you guys in the next video